and welcome to The American Business Person. Today's special guest is Sean Fox, and Sean is actually a franchise owner based out of Cincinnati of Schooley Mitchell Telecom, and they are the largest independent telecommunications firm in North America with over 10,000 clients. And Sean, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. And I do want to point out that you're actually in uh, the, the Dominican Republic right now on your annual, uh, I guess, franchisee conference for your for your firm. Is that is that what I understand? Yeah, we're, uh, we get together once a year for some best practices sharing and to kind of keep pace on what the trends are in the industry. So uh, hopefully, even though we're talking about telecom here, that uh, hopefully telecom will become an issue in terms of our connectivity together here. Exactly. So I really do appreciate you calling in for the show all the way out on uh, not necessarily your vacation, but it's it, it's probably a nice uh, getaway from Cincinnati at this time of the year. Yeah, I, I, it, my, my wife calls it a vacation. I call it a business meeting. So <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I think according, you know, she usually wins out in those battles. So. There you go. There you go. Now, Sean, why don't you tell us a little bit about your background so our audience understands exactly what it is that your your firm does. So, what Schooley Mitchell is, you know, it's it's actually better to start with what we what we aren't as opposed to what we are. I've had my Schooley Mitchell practice for about nine years, and I had a telecom background. I was in the, in the telecom industry in sales, and uh, and you know, Schooley Mitchell is not a telecom provider, and nor are we a agent or a broker, which means we're not an indirect supplier for for any services. Uh, what we are is a completely independent telecom consulting organization. And because we're independent of all the carriers, it allows us to be completely objective on our client's behalf. So when we go to give them guidance on what they can do to lower their cost or improve upon their services in general, we're doing it from a completely unbiased perspective. Which is awesome. And, and, you know, I think that's very important, uh, especially for the listeners out there that are business owners, is because, you know, I remember when I started my first business. I mean, telecommunications is one of the the scariest things to get involved with as far as a contract. I remember my old, uh, you know, do, do I... Do I buy this plan? Do I buy that plan? Do I use this system? Do I use that one? And really, when you're starting up a business, or you know, if you're if you're even retooling to try and get some of the latest technology, I mean, you need somebody outside of the sales rep that's actually trying to sell you their product and why it's the best to help consult with these issues. I mean, this is exactly why your firm exists. Is that not correct? Well, it's true because you know we create a live an even playing field for people. Um, you know, carriers and reps are tasked with selling their services, um, and, and they typically try to sell the more, um, you know, cutting-edge services because, quite frankly, those things are more margin-rich for those companies, you know, things like voice over IP and the like. Um, and it's not to say that those services aren't the correct fit for a given client, but, you know, let's face it, it's, you know, every carrier that gets in front of a, a business owner is going to tell you that they're the greatest carrier in town, and they'll give you five or six reasons why their competitors aren't. So it's nice to have a company that's completely objective, who can kind of look at it, for, you know, with a different um, set of optics and, and ultimately uh, advise that client in, what's in their best interest, not necessarily what's in the carrier's best interest. And that's why we exist. Absolutely. And like I said, I mean, I, I just remember back in the days of my old AT&T bill, you know, you, you can't even read this thing. I mean, it, it's it's 26 pages. It's got, you know, all these, you know, fees in there. You don't know what you're paying for. And by the time you actually call the carrier to find out, you know, why am I being charged for this, that, and the other thing, you're, you spend two, three hours on the phone. And I mean, I'm not exaggerating. For those out there that, you know, have been through this, they, they kind of know. And not, not just picking on, you know, a certain carrier, but, it, it, you know, your, your, your cell phone bill, everything. It just seems so complex, you know, you really need, a, like you said, that second set of eyes to kind of help you out because this is not what the business owner typically does on a day-to-day, and yet this could be a very, very expensive, I guess, way to learn. 